Each year, we hear about the growing adoption of online sales and as e-commerce continues to grow, there are talks of the death of brick and mortar. Are the naysayers actually right or is this a misplaced opinion? Um, Bricks and mortar businesses uh, have, have evolved you know, significantly over the years um, and I think they'll survive uh, this pivot and this change and this evolution to, uh, to something new. The recent statistics. Only 28% of small businesses are using the internet to sell their products. That means that majority of small businesses are missing out on the power of internet sales. It's definitely making brick and mortar stores fewer and far between, but um, it still makes them necessary, I think. Uh, it's just made it tougher. You have to kind of develop a niche and a relationship with your customers. As of the 2016 data, online sales only accounted for 8.1% of total retail sales in North America. However, sales are projected to grow with the coming years. What does this mean for brick and mortar stores? Um, I don't think that they're going to die, but a lot of people like to stay at home and shop. I do it a lot too on Amazon. Um, we're looking at marketing some of our gold product online as well because brick and mortar is pretty costly to establish and you don't necessarily get like a global market right away. So online certainly lets you do that a lot easier, which is nice. Um, but I think everybody likes to see the physical product before they actually buy it. As small businesses deal with the issue of costs, they also have to think about the changes that come with e-commerce and online competition. So far, the impact may not be massive, but the future will tell. For Sate News File, I'm Chimizie Oguru.